Good morning vlog. It is Saturday morning and I'm here at Mag Street, a cafe restaurant in Bandra with my sister. We've just ordered breakfast. I'll show you what we've gotten. We have a bagel with vegan cream cheese, some lettuce, carrots, avocados, maybe some other. No, I think that's a garnish. I don't think that's caper. So it does look like it though. And then Karen has shakshuka. Um, so like eggs, tomato, bell pepper stew, some nice sourdough. And then we had an orange juice also, but we just gobbled it up. So let's eat. Bon appetit. Say it again. Bon appetit. Okay, so we're here at child healing workshop it was an hour 15 minutes long um, it started with some writing down um, of like a, I'll be very honest I didn't really understand the teachers cueing um, so you just had to think of like a childhood relationship but also a present relationship and maybe how they were correlated but she was like we'll do something at the end it was all a little confusing that part but then we did some like very light somatics which was just kind of like hip opening exercises so say like a downward dog right leg in the air, um, circle your leg around uh, clockwise four times, counterclockwise four times. So chill stuff like that and then we got into kind of like a resting heart opening pose and she started doing like um, those like bowls and stuff to do like sound healing. So for them I think I definitely slept at one point um, but it was really hot, really really hot like the AC was not working there. So that was like a little distracting, but thankfully, yeah, like I said, I did manage to sleep. Actually not thankfully, because that's not the point. Karen, my sister, um, she got into like a higher place a little bit, so I think that's good. And then at the end, uh, what did we do? I think we just like pulled out that paper again and had to like write down a solution or resolution to our issue. But like I said, I wasn't really clear on what the issue was supposed to be. So then that, yeah, that wrapped it up. Um, the teacher was super sweet though. She had a really kind aura. And I do think exploring inner child work is interesting. I'm intrigued by it. This was kind of a scattered introduction to it, but I do appreciate the experience. It wasn't like a bad use of time. And now we are headed down to South Bombay to eat lunch and look at some art galleries. So I'll see you there, bye. Also, please do excuse the water mark on my shirt. I just came home and we're like guzzling water because it was so hot. These are cauliflower wings. Um, these were jackfruit bao buns with like that gochujang uh, sauce. Some like Vietnamese sauces they need. Karen, what's your, your mocktail boot? Kombucha and yuzu. Kombucha, yuzu, mocktail for boot. And then for me, a pineapple raspberry mocktail. And then we have one more item coming, which is a tofu banh mi. And I think we're most excited for that because we love a banh mi. Right, boot? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the banh mi is here. And we're going to do a live taste test for you. Ready, boo? Mm -hmm. I have thoughts based on the appearance, but... The pickled vegetables are all the way down there, so it's kind of I would like say it looks a little dry to me, to be honest. The tofu is looking a little dehydrated. But let me try it and see what I think. Jumping in 
uh, from the editing floor to say we did not like this restaurant. I don't know if it was clear from when we were eating the food. Uh, we weren't satisfied. So I don't want anyone who's maybe ever coming to Mumbai to be like, oh, let's go to plural for Vietnamese. Wasn't the vibe. <laughs> I haven't properly introduced my sister to you guys. She's a writer. Her name is Karen. And I'm really good at nicknames, and right now, affectionately, she's known as Boot. That's me. B O O T. The name Boo. Boot Boy. <laughs> Jumping in while I'm editing this to say that Karen also has a YouTube channel. It's called Karen Reader. In addition to being a writer, Karen is an avid reader, so she posts like some vlogs on there, but mostly like reviews of books and like her thoughts, so you guys should definitely subscribe to her. Are you tired, Boo? minutes we'll go to like the last one that one was closed so yeah but it's fine gotta get those cups in hi vlog so we are now in Worley at this place called Slingen Bardot it is a restaurant and more of like a nightlife destination but um we're here at uh, 6.45 p.m. They only even start serving food till 7. So we're just waiting here, chilling. We'll get food, we'll go home. It'll be an early night. But um, we finished up our galleries pretty quickly because honestly, like, like I said, some of them are closed, but we skipped two. I was just over a little disappointed with the selections of uh, exhibits this season, this time around. A few weeks back in January, the shows I saw were much better and I've seen better shows also in the past. But yeah, that's where we are now and that's what we've up to. Right, ready? <laughs> Cheers. Mine is, mine is correct. Mine is enjoying this pack. And mine is fruity. Mocktail queens. <laughs> there she goes again with her visceral reaction. This is like a smoothie. Okay, hi vlog. Uh, good morning. It's Sunday morning. So, like I said, I don't know if I said it. I just had breakfast at a place called Sequel. I had like a raspberry sour cherry smoothie jar, boot, and uh, this nut and seed toast. So, like this nut and seed bread with some cashew cheese, avocado, sun-dried tomatoes, and capers. <laughs> then uh, Karen went to this place called Boca. Um, and then we, she just like met me. And then now we're... Huh? No. Then now we're going to a sound bath. Um, it wasn't bad. 
It was honestly though very cold in there because of the air conditioning. So I found that to be a bit distracting for my relaxation. Um, and it's so funny because about the session the day before, it was that it was too hot, but I would prefer the heat to the cold because at least in the heat, it's like kind of relaxing. Cold is just, it's not nice. So yeah, now we're just sitting at home, chilling, doing what we do best. And then I think we'll just figure something for lunch soon, go out there and then maybe go see a movie. Who knows? See ya. Hey Vlogarino, we're here at Pompa, Mexican restaurant in Bandra, Bandra for lunch. And our first item we ordered has arrived. So this is a salsa platter. It has seven different types of salsa. And this is the guide. It goes from least spicy to most spicy. Should we do a taste test? Okay, she's going in for her first salsa, which is the spiciest one. So that's the hibiscus salsa. I wouldn't think it'd be spicy, but there you go. Four chilies. So movie's over, um, we saw Challengers. I liked it overall. I mean, Karen and I were discussing in the auto back. The, the story was just like a little simple. Like it was kind of predictable and stuff, especially towards the end, but I really liked the direction. Um, I think that the director really lifted, like I said, a simple story into something quite like interesting to watch. Um, one thing that was just so irritating I found was like there was an intermission and obviously, oh God, there was an intermission. I found that to be really irritating because that just like slowed down the pacing for me. That's just like the fault I think of Indian movie theaters. There's no need for it. It just slows everything down. But for me, Josh O'Connor was like the best performer. Yeah, that was the movie. And there was good uh, music, good background music. Okay, so now we're just gonna chill for a little bit and then probably go for dinner soon. See ya. Hey vlog, so we have made it to Coco at Gamala Mills in Lower Pareil for dinner. This, it's an Asian gastro pub, that's how it's described. So we've ordered a few things and then, honestly I think that's gonna be the end of the video. It's been a weekend with my sister. She's going back home on Wednesday. Have you had a good time, Karen? Yeah. What has been actually, tell me your favorite, pull out your list and tell me your favorite restaurant you've been to in Mumbai. She's been in India for I think three weeks in total. And we do still have a few more places pending this week, but just so far. Oh, I think in terms of like looks, I think Mokai, which is a cafe that's opened in Bandra and it's very like Japanese inspired, was really cool looks wise. In terms of the food, I think Ode was the most innovative in the, what we were getting, the presentation. I really liked the ambiance of the place. As I was telling my sister, I felt like I was in Miami. Yes, And then, RT. I think that's been the highlight of the food. I, I, there's no, there's one other restaurant I really liked. What was Bombay it? Canteen. No, Bombay Canteen, I really just liked that one dish. Tell them what it is. It was like, uh, like a crispy wafer. Siba ceviche savory. There we go, which is basically translates kind of, it was a crispy little wafer almost with uh, the ceviche, some crispy stuff, some spice on top, a nice- It's like an Indian street food, but made with seafood. Yes, and it was lovely. And there was, I liked the pizza that we got from Gustoso. Gustoso yeah. That was an uh, unexpected gem we found. Yeah, I think that was about it. And then obviously, um, you guys haven't seen this, but and this is this is a favorite of mine. I love to get breakfast from Cutting Polka. this. Good night <laughs> and goodbye. <laughs>